Hi, my name is Mark Einsmann. We're here at my studio in Hamburg, Einsmann Mastering, and today we'll be doing a little bit of an A to D converter shootout. We have three converters at our disposal, and the newest addition to my arsenal is the RME ADI2 Pro. Uh, what's so special about it, we'll get into in just a moment. Uh, let me quickly run you through my setup and how I kind of do my workflow. First off, we get digital files mostly, um, so they need to be played back by in my DAW. I use Sequoia and um, my D to A converter for transfer in this case is my crane song head. And the analog signal out of the crane song head is then fed into my transfer console. In this case, I have a manly backbone that will allow me to include various pieces of gear into my signal chain for further sweetening. Most of the corrective processing, in other words, getting rid of the uh, portions of audio that don't, don't necessarily contribute to the music, gets mainly processed in the DAW. And then after I'm done, the analog gear helps me to elevate the music to the next level. And in doing so, after we've done this creative processing, it needs to be then brought back into the DAW. For that purpose, we need an A to D converter. And the A to D converter is one of the uh, essential, crucial pieces of gear. I tend to refer to uh, the weaknesses in studios and recording, um, obviously microphones, we rarely use microphones in mastering, uh, but uh, the opposite is true for uh, the loudspeakers. <clears throat> they can vary in quality quite drastically. Then obviously the room acoustics um, and uh, also in that field is the A to D conversion, which is crucial and critical. And what is so strong about the RME, first off, don't be fooled by its size. It's rather compact, but it has a lot of horsepower in it. And what I really like about the RME is what it does to the low end. So why would I even choose three A to D converters? Isn't that um, sort of a bit of an overload? Well, I like to be able to offer a couple of different flavors. Some of them um, allow you to feed a lot of level into it, if that's the thing that my client requests, which sometimes it is. But what they do in terms of nuances, we'll be listening to, and then you can judge for yourself. Now we'll be doing some ABC comparison listening between the three converters, comparing the RME, to the AD122 and the head, and listen out for the low end detail, which is in my book, the real strength of the RME and sort of shaping and tightening up. I don't look for any coloration in an AD converter necessarily, unless really called for, um, but the detail it portrays is sort of one of the features I'm looking for. Uh, also the headphone preamps, um, I do a lot of uh, QC using headphones, quality control when I'm done with my work. And the low level detail you get from the headphone preamps is rather astonishing and very detailed. So I like that about them. Plus it has a lot of other features, um, sort of the ramp up uh, volume control as you insert um, your headphones. For instance, if the headphone volume setting is set very high that you don't get blown away, it kind of ramps up for you to safely plug in any um, headphones and connect the AD to your audio system without being blasted accidentally. So that's also a very nice feature. Also, once you insert the plug, it automatically recognizes the source. So it does sort of impedance searching, knowing uh, whether the headphone outputs were being used as headphone outputs or actual separate um, stereo outputs. So it 
also features a couple of uh, analog audio stereo outputs on the back via XLR and on the front, the two headphone outputs can be switched to act as um, a line output, which is very nice. Let me explain a little bit about the setup, how we are going to compare the three A to D converters. The monitor control unit, as I mentioned earlier on, allows me to compare the first, second and third converter with one another. And the way the converters are fed is they get the signal from the DAW, which is then DA converted by the crane song head, which is the main transfer DA converter in my setup. That is then arriving at my manly and through my manly backbone at the output, I have three parallel paths feeding each and every analog stereo input of the Lavery, the RME, and the head. So we'll be doing the comparison between the three converters. Listen out for the low end shaping. I'm sure you'll be surprised. Yeah, I hope you like the little comparison between the three AD converters. Granted, the nuances may be subtle at first, but if you really focus in, um, you can hear sort of the, the, the strength of what the RME does to the low end uh, in detail. It's not about um, determining whether one is better than the other. They're just different. Each and every of these converters is of, of very high grade and they can be put into action for when they are best suited for the task at hand. And I do encourage you to play around, send levels in, uh, overdrive them, see how they react, how they um, start to sing. You know, every converter has its sweet spot 
and it's a fun thing to do to kind of figure out the various nuances and I hope you appreciate it. <laughs>